finish line. Car is oversteering. That'll certainly be catching his attention as he heads down to the very fast entry of the Villeneuve chicane. Let's see the back end stick a bit better this time. It does indeed as he breaks heavily into the foot of the hill and the toes are hairpin. Pointed skywards and floor the throttle as you head towards Piratello. You can see his hands on the wheel there, his right finger just flicking the gears up, left finger just flicking them down again. Look at the work rate going into the steering wheel. Big physical effort here, a lot of G-forces both braking and sideways here at Imola on the driver. Yes, bumpy two in the bottom of the Aqua Minerale there, climbing the hill for the second time then as he goes to the Variante Alta. All the drivers are nervous of this chicane. They've just got to take enough curb to be fast and a little bit too much and they're in the wall. They can coast and relax a bit as he heads downhill towards the braking zone for Ribatza 1. Again, the curb pulling the car around like a railway line. You see, it's really not sticking to the ground, this Minardi. Not as much downforce as the front-running cars. That means more work for the drivers, a much harder afternoon for them. Just steadying the car up over the curbs. Got the back out a little bit as well. Should be quicker than teammate Baumgartner, though. Indeed he is, quite a lot quicker. 126.8 for Gamaria Bruni.